Hi, all Justin Social Paintball here, and today we've got the Ninja SHP Super High Pressure Regulator. And this was designed as part of the new series to accommodate um, special needs markers, if you will, <laughs> exceptionally well performing markers, uh, like the reactive trigger systems that you find in some of the auto mags. Um, this one has X valve on it. Um, and the higher the pressure you have, the faster this puppy's going to shoot. So what we'd like to do is take this outside, actually um, compare it with a normal, if you will, 800, 850 high pressure tank compared to the 1100 PSI and show you exactly what this can do for you if you've got an automatic. So let's take a look. Okay, here we have the SHP Ninja Regulator. You can see the markings right on there. You see it has the double O-ring design in case one fails. Keep it going. And it uh, came with a little fill nipple cover. And there's the threads. So I've already taken out the two um, grub screws that go in the bonnet here on each side. You just use an Allen key for that. And then this is threaded on the top. So after you take those out, you can just unthread this. So there you have it right there. And I'm just gonna set the main part of the body down here. Okay, once you've got the bonnet off, you can go ahead and take this apart. You can see the, uh, the inside there. And here are the shims. So we've got, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, uh, 11. That's just what I expected from what I heard. Um, having that many shims will get you up to that, that pressure. I think people have shimmed their tanks with just a couple extra shims in their regular regs and uh, gotten themselves up that high. So for those of you who want to see that, there you go. I count 11 shims and you've got uh, just the top one going opposite there. You can see there's a little um, O-ring here. I'm not going to take this apart or take off a shim, but I know you'd all want to see this so you could get a good look at how many shims are used in this regulator. So this is what it looks like. Okay, get the spring there, don't lose that. And you can put it back together. So let's test the standard one. You can see we're setting right at 850. Now for the SHP reg, you can see it's right off, right off the scales there. But if you look at the intervals here, you can see that that's definitely in the 1100, maybe even going on close to 1200 range. It's just right off my gauge. Go for it. Give me the mask. Good. Nice. Okay, so, as you saw, at 1100 PSI, it makes a huge difference with your firing rate on one of these reactive trigger-based auto mags. Um, I think it's going to be worth your money. If you're someone that's running an auto mag, you really want to see what you can do with your marker, get the most out of it. You like to play with things like a lot of people do with their markers. And I think for the cost of a regulator that's going to make that big of a difference that you saw, it's going to be worth your time. You're going to enjoy it even if it's only at the target range and not shooting people that fast. So <laughs> I think all of us have a little of that in us and uh, that's why we keep these types of guns around. And uh, this is definitely a classic and uh, it's still just even the body milling on this marker. It's beautiful. Um, having 1100 PSI behind it, go and do it. Enough said, take care. the tongue, make everybody tear, breathe the moon, inhale the light year, who's the goons that's ready to fight beers in the booth?